Uh, yet a uh, good afternoon, Chairman Schatz, uh, Senator Cantwell, and members of the Senate Committee on Indian Affairs. It is a pleasure and an honor to be here today to introduce my good friend and colleague, Indian Health Service Director Designee, Ms. Rosalind So. Ms. So is an enrolled member of the Navajo Nation. Her, her clans are Deshchini, start of the Red Streak people, born for Hashkahatzo, yucca fruit strung out. Her maternal grandfather is Tloge Dene, Sia Pueblo people, and her paternal grandfather is Tlizatlana Mini Goats. Ms. So grew up in Tlichi, Arizona, on the Navajo Nation with seven brothers and sisters and a large extended kinship circle, and has had the benefit of family support throughout her university and professional life. Ms. So holds a Bachelor's of Arts in Interdisciplinary Studies from Merrill Hurst University in Portland, Oregon, and a Master's in Organizational Management from the University of Phoenix, Portland campus. In 1984, Ms. So began her career with the Indian Health Service. Her mission is to address the health disparities experienced in Indian country. After many years away from the Navajo Nation, she returned to serve as the director of the Indian Health Service's Navajo Area Office. The Navajo Area IHS Office provides health services to over 244,000 Native Americans, stretching over 27,000 square miles. As director of the Navajo Area Office, Ms. So's leadership expertise and compassion have been critical in reducing the spread of coronavirus. When COVID-19 began spreading in the Southwest, there were a lot of uncertainties, as we know, and fear among everyone. We established a work group to begin mitigation efforts. Ms. So and her team were part of this group. To combat COVID-19, the Navajo Nation established a preparedness team to that was comprised of tribal leaders, 638 healthcare facilities, NN Department of Health, and other organizations such as John Hopkins University. The preparedness team evolved to a response team. The group of experts continued to provide guidance to continue to mitigate the virus. And I surround those individuals uh, with me on the Navajo Nation. Ms. So's quick response and steadfast leadership led to a well-coordinated effort with the Navajo Department of Health's establishing public health orders even before the first COVID cases were confirmed on the Navajo Nation. Currently, our elders, population, 65 years and over, are 90% fully vaccinated. Most of the general Navajo population is vaccinated. At a time when mainstream America had barely reached a 50% testing rate, the Navajo Nation was at 75%. Through her leadership, the Navajo Nation achieved one of the highest vaccination rates in the world. Ms. So also worked very closely with tribal governments on the implementation of the Indian Health Self-Determination and Education Act, allowing for the swift execution of programs under public law 93638 contracts. She has been instrumental in securing full funding for IHS SDS water projects for Navajo communities. Ms. So's commitment to public service stems from her family experience, which includes many of the challenges many, face, many families experience in Indian country. Ms. So's work ethic, value system, and approach to problem solving demonstrates the resilience of indigenous peoples and the commitment to combat the system, systematic inequities that have impacted tribal nations since the Western expansion. It is because of her extensive experience working with federal and tribal governments that we are confident that she will continue to promote federal trust responsibilities and enhance our nation-to-nation -nation relationship to improve the Indian health ser care service delivery throughout Indian country. We are pleased that the Biden-Harris administration has honored the requests of tribal leaders and nominated an IHS 
director who understands the challenges experienced by many of our indigenous communities. We fully support President Biden's nominee. Thank you.